Hello and welcome back to the 2018 version of Lego Westing. So what kind of set should you actually grab and get for your collection? And I'm gonna go straight into that in a second, but first of all, I wanna show you something very interesting. If you do get a bunch of different set every single month, you're qualified to receive a specific bonus. This month's bonus is going to be the minifigure factory. The minifigure factory right here is just amazing. But the most amazing thing about it is that sometimes those bonuses that come every single month are very exclusive and you can make a good profit on them. So they're only released once in a while and then they are no longer made. So if you get a very good bonus, the price of it exponentially goes higher. If it's an okay bonus and it's not something that most people want to get, it's not going to go too much high. So here are a few sets that I do think that for 2018 you should get. One of which is the Disney Tron. This is just an amazing looking set. One of which that I'm definitely getting for myself. It has three minifigures. It has two different bikes and it looks amazing. It's done by a Lego fan. So Lego fan went in and created it. Unfortunately, I already exceeded the limit, which was more than one. So that is the sad part. You can get more of those because you can definitely create a few very nice things about this set, like create your own racing thing and so on. Plus, you might want to get two sets, one for yourself and another one to sell online in Legoverse with it. That brings me to the Lego Ideals section. In this section of the shop, you were able to get exclusive sets that came in from people just like you who created the set, submitted it to Lego, and Lego decided to create an official set with that. One of which is the old fishing store. This is another one of those amazing must-have sets. The store itself looks really nice. It is big and it opens in the back. Of course, if I had a chance to go and rebuild this, I would actually do a few modifications to this. I love to do modifications to sets that I get. And I did, and I would have loved to see this a little bit fixed up. Like the sidings of this, I would put actual brick there instead. But maybe it doesn't look like the real wood, so that's the, definitely the whole appeal of this entire set right here. The details are just exquisite and amazing. So this is definitely something that you should consider to add to your collection. Going back to the ideals again, there is the ship in a bottle. Now, this one is okay set. I'm not really too much of a fan of this ship. It's not real glass. It looks good. But the price is just too much for what it is. So $69 for this. If this was a $29 uh, item, yes, that would be definitely a collector set. For $69, there was not much profit in this. So I would definitely be skipping on that one. Woman of NASA. That is definitely a collector's item. First of all, it's women. Second of all, it's NASA universally set, including Challenger right here as well. Plus some really interesting names of famous women. So this set, once it's gone, it's not going to be made anymore. I could easily see this set double up in price. Other sets that I do recommend for you to get is the Lego Dimensions set. So in the Dimension sets, I work for teams and in the teams themselves like Beetlejuice right here, this one is already out of stock. You have the Ghostbusters story pack also out of stock as well. Mission Impossible one and so on. So just find the ones that you actually like and buy them. This one specifically the Midway Arcade Rebel pack. This is a very good price when it was at that price time. Sometimes it gets to the $9.99 range, and when it does, it gets sold up pretty quick. The limit was five, so if you could grab five of those, you could have made a serious amount of cash here because those things easily 
would go up to 30 to 40 bucks, especially because of one reason only, the arcade game. This is why people always go for this specific set. I wish they did come up with a arcade store. That would be kind of really cool and funky. A lot of those LEGO Dimensions set get sold up very quick. So when you see something really great here, make sure you buy it. The only one I don't recommend is the LEGO Dimensions starter pack. This one is not really a collectible one. Right now there is only one in stock, the Teen Titans Go. I'm not too fond of this one and I'm not too fond of the Puff Girls fun pack either. So all of those actually got sold out and if you can grab them when they were still in stock, that's great. If you can't get them, well, the only other location that you should go is into eBay. That's where you can get them on sale. A few other sets I do recommend for you to go and get. Well, Angry Birds, this is something that I don't really necessarily think that you should get into. Plus, they're all sold out. Now, the reason why it's not one of the best things for you to get into, unless you see some really interesting design, a few other sets that I do recommend for you to get into is the following, the LEGO Architectural. There are some interesting sets over here, such as United States Capitol Building. Just look at how much details they put into this set. It looks almost identical like the actual Capitol Building. Unfortunately, it's very, very tiny. So I really don't like those kind of sets unless, of course, you get something with a lot of attention to details. So make sure when you look at any of those sets and especially Lego architecture, it depends on the team itself and it also depends on how much details goes into the bricks and everything else in there. So for those for the architectural sets, I don't like any of those sets at the moment because yeah, the price is good, but I don't think you will be able to make substantial amount of money here. So I would say skip that one. The next thing that I do suggest for you to check it out is the Ghostbusters set. Definitely a good set for you to grab, especially the file house headquarters. If you can still grab that one, the price is pretty steep side, but I think it will actually go up in value even more just because of the huge collection of minifigures, brick pieces and everything else included here. Now, one thing you cannot ever go wrong is with Star Wars. Star Wars is always a collectible. It's always going to be up in value. And especially when you're getting Star Wars sets, I do suggest for you to look for original sets that have a lot of attention to details, such as this one right here, 149 bucks right now. And it has a lot of attention to the classical Star Wars sets. That's are the ones that are going to get you the big money the Lego Star Wars sets and those that are trending from the original topic, those are not the ones that are going to go up in value. Another one that I like is this one right here, the Rattel Escape. The reason I like this so much is just the building itself. It's really amazing, especially the 10 bricks ones. They tend to go up in price a lot better than other sets. The Y-Wing Starfighter is another one of those where you're getting a lot of Legos for the price that you're paying for. 59 bucks, get a lot of minifigures that are valued a lot of money. The details in the set are just exquisite and plus it's a remake of an older set. So when you get all those specific elements combined all in one, you're definitely getting a lot of value in one small set. There is a lot of Star Wars sets at any given time. With that said, you should always take a look at Star Wars because those collector's items are never going to go out of style. A few of, of mine that are favorites, I'm going to be showing you in a second. But one thing I do suggest for you to stay away is from something like this. Definitely a big no-no. I don't like those. I don't think those things are going to go up in value. Those are, remind me of Bionicles. So don't really get those. Something like this would be a collector's item. The Ascent Speedo right here, just the attention to details is amazing. Here's another one as well. This one is in Disney with Star Wars combined. And it also looks very good. I like this set specifically and I bought it for myself and I really think this one is going to go up in value as well. 
So the ones that are Disney and Star Wars, you should always take a look at those because those specific sets are very much valued by collectors. When you combine Star Wars, which already has a niche following to it, with Disney, which has niche following as well, you're getting double the chances of somebody really liking the specific items that you're getting. In fact, this is so much like a classical Star Wars set right here. Like with the trap, it goes back to the full Star Wars movies. Those are definitely something that's going to get a lot of collectors looking for this. So right now, the big niche of Legos is really about having a collector's set. And it's all about people buying them, not only as toys, but they're also buying it for the collector's value. The thing about especially Star Wars is that there is a huge mix up between what is a toy and what is a collector's item. The easiest way for you usually to find is just to go and look at the prices. But sometimes you get things that are priced pretty cheap and yet they would be become a collector's item. The Star Wars Yoda hat. What is about the Yoda hat that makes it such an exclusive item? that you definitely should get a hold of. First of all, Yoda himself right here is in a special edition, brand new suit. I never seen anything like it. Also, the robot himself is made like it has dirt on it, a lot of different details. Well, I don't really like it, but some collector might think this is kind of cool. Above all, this has the 10 bricks to them. Make sure you always keep an eye for 10 bricks in Star Wars. This is gonna definitely tell you that this is an exclusive and rare special edition set. Now they don't tell you this, but I know it for sure. Those are the kind of sets you should look after and with Star Wars there is three different colors that you should look for. And when you see them you will understand what I mean. There is the black versions and the special all black versions of sets. Those are really collectibles as well. People really like the special edition all black version of specific sets and here is one of them. You can see how much attention to details are in those sets. Another color is the very gray color for Star Wars. So there is all kinds of gray variety to it. There is the dark gray right here and there is the lighter gray version and there is a super light gray as well. And this brings it to the original Star Wars. And the Star Wars movies, all those battleships usually wore that specific core. This is why anything that has that core and it runs in shades of gray, it is definitely a collector's item. Next thing you wanna definitely look for is the minifigures. How special edition they are. If there is something out there you never seen before, like this black pod and that, with all the minifigures combined, if you sell it individually, you should be able to make a lot of money. The minifigures themselves sometimes actually are gonna give you more money than individual things. And when you see a set that all the minifigures combined are gonna give you more money, this golden nugget, you can definitely redouble your money pretty quick. And a few years, I'm just saying this just to go on the safe side, but I definitely could see this set after they no longer make it definitely be sold out by collectors just because the helicopter has so much attention to details to it. It looks like an actual Cobra helicopter if you ever seen one of those military helicopters before and the silver special edition the calls that they use for the entire set is what gives it the extra ability for me to be confident enough why this set is going to definitely go up there in value. Another one that I actually really like here is the black uh, Bad Space Shuttle and it's only going for 79 bucks. Some of those really sought after sets, those are the ones that are going to easily double in price. I could easily see this thing going to go for 150 and maybe a few years down the road. I'm talking about like five or six years. This is going to be a $300 set. So with that in mind, 
Remember, with Lego resting, the more and the longer you keep those boxes, the more likely that the price is going to exponentially increase. You want to make sure that the specific sets that you're getting have a lot of rare and unusual minifigures to them. This is what is going to give it a lot more value. Here is an interesting set right here. I don't think this one is going to be a collector set, but it is funky looking and interesting. Sometimes you get a set that I'm just not sure about. It looks good, it looks interesting, but I don't think that it's going to really go higher than its printed value. It is fun to play with, but it's not going to be something that's going to hold its value down the road. Of course, I could be totally wrong here. And you're more than welcome to try to prove me wrong. There is other sets here that I do like much, much better. Something that may or may not hold value is going to be something like this. This is the Joker's Manor. It looks interesting. It could go up in price, but the price is already steep as is. So I hope this gives you inspiration ideas for the LEGO 2018 edition of this. There's a lot of different interesting and good sets for you to pick from in many different categories. 2018 is a year that LEGO put a lot of good attention to detail and it put a lot of attention to specific sets as well. What makes 2018 so great is that they have a lot of special edition sets that are very valuable and I never seen so many of them being actually on sale at any given time. Here's another one, the Destiny Bounty for 159 bucks. This is easily a $200, $300 item just because of the attention to details to this the amount of minifigure pieces and the minifigures themselves that are included. I like this so much that I bought this for myself and I kept all the minifigures and I sold the entire ship for 150 bucks on and change. So that was a very good uh, way for me to finance my hobby and at the same time keep the pieces that I actually like without going broke. So yeah, you can easily invest thousands of dollars in Legos and then of course you have to get the money back. The easiest way to do this is to flip those sets as fast as you can and with that one of the other sets I really like here is the Ninjago CD. Nin Ninjago CD is just amazing looking set. It is 300 bucks but you get so much details and it is one of the biggest sets out there. It has almost 5,000 pieces included. This is a humongous set. It's like a building block. Here is another one right there that I also like a lot. And this is the Hawkstar Ultra Edition. I'm not sure why it is showing the wrong actual icon here. And here it is, the Hawk set. And, and this one is the special edition. Actually it's called the Hulkbuster Ultron edition. Here we go. Why is this one of the ultimate sets out there? It's just the most attention to detail, the biggest one they have created. And some people like it big. And having a humongous big life-size replica of one of the best and superheroes Marvel creations out there. It's going to definitely give this set a lot of value. The price is on the steep side, but this is an ultimate collector's item. And I do see it actually go up in price even more, especially for the Marvel superhero line, having an Ultron addition to it, like a special edition in a set. Normally it would be the Hulkbuster smash up, which is 29 bucks. So this is an ultimate version of uh, already a set that is getting a lot of traction. One thing I do suggest for you to do is to always look for minifigures. Those things never go out of style. 
We have the Lego minifigures right now that you can pick from. And there's a bunch of them over here that are available. In fact, the Series 17 is no longer in stock, unfortunately. This was a very good series and it is gone now. So if you didn't have a chance to grab them, you might still be able to get them on eBay. And that's where I get all of mine. I don't get them from here. I get them on eBay once somebody opens them up and already knows what is inside. The Lego Ninjago movie would be one that I do think is also worth investing in. This one right here has a lot of different characters that's coming directly from the movie, but the minifigures themselves look very good also. So you're getting a very good amount of very nice looking minifigures, plus you're getting a collector's item which is the minifigures special set some people collect those sets and you have to just pick the ones that are pretty good and try to get every single one of them in their collector's version to get every single one of those the only way for you to go about and do this is to go on ebay and get them over there because otherwise what you're doing here is you're gambling here very much. So let's say you get 32 of them, you're getting random packs. You don't know what is in each of those packs. You are not going to know until you open it up. So one way for you to go about this is to wait around until those sets are out for a while. Then after that, you will see people really posting the whole pack of every single one of them. They open it up, they felt it, they know what is inside, or they actually opened it up. And you can get all of those for sometimes cheaper than four bucks a piece. This is much better than for you. Try to buy all 32 of those and then get the same identical piece 10 or five times in one box. You don't know what you're getting. You don't know how many you're getting. And you might get a bunch of those that you totally dislike and are worth way less than four bucks, such as maybe something like the clock one in the middle, the one that nobody actually likes. And the ones that are going to go up in value, some of those are going to go up in value exponentially. And I do think those purple space minifigures, the ones I already got for my collection, are definitely going to go up in price. So if you want to get anything out of this series, get the two purple ones all the way to the left. Those are definitely are going to go up in price. But you can't really go wrong with any of the Batman series. Batman minifigures and edit the special edition about the Batman movie. And plus, it has to do with superheroes combined. So that is definitely gonna make you a very good potential amount of profit here. One that I totally dislike and I don't suggest for you to get is this one, the Minifigure Series 18 Party. This is probably the worst minifigure series I ever seen. Out of all the different series out there, this one is the serious, the most stupid one, and of course, it is very, very comical. Now, not in a good way. So I do think that you should stay away from this one. There is only maybe two different figures that I actually like out of this entire set. So the Catwoman all the way in the back is one of them. And another one is the Lego Eraser right here, which I'm going to use for a project of mine. Other than that, everything else here looks just super silly and I just don't like it. So this is one of the worst minifigures series that i ever seen. You have every right to go and say that I'm totally wrong on this one. But it's up to you to decide really which one you like, which one you don't. But I really think at the end, it's all about value. It's all about making money with Legos. If that is what you want to do, you want to look for minifigures that are worth it. And actually, there's two more here that I would suggest for you to get. The ones that look like a brick. Unfortunately, it's not the standard brick, which is a 2x4. It is the 2x3 brick, which makes this a little less of a really nice looking brick. I really wish they used the standard brick instead. Plus, it's a little bit oversized for a minifigure too. Other than that, those are actually two, maybe four good potentials in this specific series. For 2018, I see so many 
good potential sets over here and it is just amazing the amount of details the amount of very good sets that are available in one given year enough to bankrupt a bunch of you if you do decide to invest in all those sets at the same time one of the ones that i last I'm gonna leave you is the taj mahal creative set going for 369 that might go all the way to a thousand thank you so much for watching this and see you in the next episode of sets that you should be buying getting collecting investing and making money with